But today is called stewardship. And guess what? Who just sang the song? Brother Stuart. But there is a story or an event that takes place. That Jesus, the Savior of the world, nailed to a cross for you and I. And so Jesus leave something for us to do. So all of us can play a role in this. We all are steward for Jesus. And so in Revelation 14, 6, it said, Fear God. Give glory to him for the hour of his judgment is come. We all can be a steward and tell this story. In Matthew 24, 14, it said, This gospel of the kingdom must preach to all the world. And then the end will come. We all can tell the world about this. We all are steward. In Matthew 28, 20, it said, Go he therefore into all the world Teach them what I command you to observe. And when they accept, we must baptize in them. You all can do this. So you don't have no excuse to say, okay, that's personal ministry. That's for the personal person. That is community service. And that is for the community service person. We all are steward for Jesus. So we all can play a role in this. But first, I want to let you know, we must ask for the Holy Spirit in our presence. Let us pray. Divine God and our Father, today we come to you because there is no other God before you. And we present ourselves to you as a living sacrifice. I ask of you, Jesus, that you may accept our sacrifice unto you. I ask of you that your Holy Spirit may take up residence in our heart. Use me, Jesus, like you never used me before. Cleanse me first from all unrighteousness. And let your light shine so others may see and come to glorify you, which are in heaven. Be merciful unto us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, I don't have the screen to let you see all these texts. But I want you to follow me in the scripture. So if I go wrong, you can say, Brother Green, that is not in the scripture. So the, 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 the text that we read, it, it is from James 1, 27. So James 1 and the last verse, it said pure religion. And a lot of persons, when they speak about religion, they say, I don't like to talk about religion. So James are saying that pure religion and undefiled unto God must be what? What we must do? Go seek out our visit. But we said, seek out the poor and the needy. Seek out the widowed. Seek out the fatherless. And show the world that your doctrine is pure. No, if you're not doing that, I guarantee that your doctrine is stagnant. For God, who us guilty if we don't visit these people. And so, Jesus has said to us, if you want your doctrine to be pure, these are the things that you must do. 
You not maybe, but you must do these things to show that your doctrine is pure. And so God called us in Matthew 25 and start from verse 14. God called us and God said, the kingdom of God is like a man traveling to a far country. So now we on our journey to the kingdom of God. So Jesus said, I give one five talents. I give another one two. But I give one one. And did the word of God said, do not covet your neighbor. So it seems to me like the man who have one talent covet the other brethren that have the five and the two. And so the one with the five talent, he go forth as a good steward and he multiply on his talent. And God said, well done, good and faithful servant. So you see the reason why you must visit? If you don't visit, how comes you need God or you want God to pronounce on you good and faithful when you bury your talent? Cannot work. And so the one with the two go forth and multiply. And he end up with four. And God said, well done. So you see the reason why you must visit the fatherless, the widowed, and the judge. We must visit them. And so the one with the one talent, he bury his talent. He covetous the other with their talent. Think in his mind that his one talent cannot be multiplied. So he bury it. He dig the hole and he bury it. But watch it. As I said to you, we must visit. God pronounced to him a wicked servant. Follow me. If we don't visit these people as a steward, for God entrusts us that he leaves something with us that we must use it up. Therefore, if we don't use it, not only lose it, but this is what God is going to pronounce on us. Wicked servant. So don't wonder when God said, it's not everyone who said, Lord, Lord, going to enter into the kingdom. Why? Because you are wicked. But still using the name of the Lord. So stewardship. Every one of us must play a role in stewardship. And play it well. For God and trust that what he placed into our hand, we must share it. So some people said, okay, that person are a stagnant Christian. Because I never see him in weakness. I never see him visiting anyone. I cannot understand. If there is a lost sheep of Israel. Then why we who believe that we are saved into the kingdom of God do not visit the lost sheep? I can't understand it. I believe that Jesus Christ saved me from sin. I believe that Jesus Christ will come again and take me from the present of sin. So I must tell the world to flee from the wrath of God to come. And that makes us a good and faithful steward. So, do you see that basket there? If our stewardship. Anything you place in this basket is not for Brother Green. It is for the poor and the needy. And I don't want to sit there and believe that when you place it in there, we're going to put it in our pocket. I am guaranteed when you place it in there, it benefits the community. 
not just Christian, but the community. And that's stewardship. So we are not in this business for a joke. We are not in this business for playing around. This is a serious mission. And this mission must be accomplished by the children of God. There is no doubt in my mind that most of us are serious. Why? We remember at some point in time where God has taken us from and where he have us now. And therefore, we cannot play around and we cannot look back where he took us from. Therefore, what he placed in our hand don't belongs to us. But we need to be a good and faithful steward. And to do that, we have to share the little that we have. For the little that we have. And think we cannot share from it. It shall be taken away. So be a good steward. Brothers and sisters. And so the Lord can pronounce on us. Well done. Well done. Good. And faithful. Servant. If God. Is for us. Then tell me who can be against us. A lot of us be afraid to go out on the street for some reason or another. A lot of us are afraid because we don't believe that Jesus is with us. But Jesus said in John 14, let not your heart be troubled. And Jesus said in Matthew 28, Went to the last verse, Jesus said, Lo, I'm with you to the end of the ages. A lot of us are be afraid of going out to tell people we don't want people to shut their door in our face. We don't want people to look down on us. They think we are crazy. But I'm here to let you know that God is with us. In Psalms 37 and verse 1. God said, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of the evildoers. For they soon shall be cut off and withered like the herbs. A lot of us don't want no one to spot in our face. So we be afraid to go out and tell people that Jesus Christ lived. And rain, and he going to come again. So change up your folly ground. Because Jesus Christ is coming for a set of people who will do his will. And God will take us from this troubled world. I guarantee you. But if we take the gospel for a joke. If we don't take the gospel serious. Then we will hear from Jesus' own mouth. You wicked servant. And I believe you that none of us here want to hear that from God's mouth. And if we don't want to hear it, then be a good steward. What to ever God entrust us with, let us do it. Let us run the race with faith and endure to the end. Despite of the trouble, despite of the crosses, despite of the tribulation, despite of the shame and the disgrace that people will bring upon us, don't be afraid. Take courage and do God goodwill. For if we only justify before man and God, it will be well with our soul. So it doesn't matter who wants to say you act like you're righteous more than me. You acting like you are some people said, brother, bro, that me moving like me a Jesus fanatic. I don't know. I don't know what I really mean. But, but, but let me tell you something. I was going down a path. Was not so nice. I, I tell you, I, I, when I read the scripture, two things that God hit. I'm going to tell you them. The children of Israel 
The reason why they die, they all die in the wilderness, and only Aaron and the, and, the, and the smaller kids go over into Jordan is because of sexual immorality. So God hated it. You didn't know that thing where God hated it. Idol worship. If you put up another person before Jesus Christ, God hated it. It is abomination unto God. So when I was a Rastan preaching about Selassie and all of that, I did think I was on the right track, following Bob Marley, them and all the other ones them out there. You think you're on the right track? Because Jesus is a white man, God, and you need a black God. They don't know, suppose Jesus did come in that time. What do you think Jesus would say to me? Jesus would pronounce on me that I am a wicked servant. But mercy, mercy step in. And grab brother green. And here I am today telling you about the true and living God that created heaven and the earth. And that make you a good steward. So there is no looking back. Anywhere. Anytime. Anyone. I don't be afraid. Like Peter. I don't want to crucify upside down. I don't want to crucify like Jesus. I, I better you crucify me upside down. So when I am the mission, you can crucify me. I don't care. Because my life don't belong to me no more. No, I am a steward for Jesus. And I don't believe you are who, where you're from, what is your status. All I know, your status cannot stop me from telling you who Jesus is. The class that you in cannot stop me from telling you who Jesus Christ is. I want to be a faithful steward. How about you? I want to hear from Jesus' lips. Well done. Good and faithful servant. When Jesus comes, I will not hear the name Brother Green. That name must leave behind me. When Jesus comes, I have a new name in glory. And that name will be blessed and holy. Is he that have part in the first resurrection. And therefore, if I want Jesus to pronounce that on me, I must be a good steward. So God provide me with a job. So the job, it make me achieve some some funds as we call it. The funds that I achieve is not for me and my wife and my kids alone. No. If I take care of my wife and my children and me, that will be selfish. I'm going to show you how selfish that would be. If, if God love Brother Freer alone and send Jesus to die only for brother freedom. Then God would be selfish. So God said, I not only love brother Dan. I not only love brother Green. I not only love brother Brown. But I love the world. That's a good stewardship. And so we learn from God. And so we take the footstep of God to share with everyone that we interact with. Jesus said, give to everyone who asks and don't tell him to wait till tomorrow. Give it now while you can. So God provide a little ride. No, me call it the chariot. You know them chariot, you know, because first time it's chariot with horses. These are chariot without horses because all the vehicles that you see out there, them say five horsepower, six horsepower. So them build it off of the horse because it have horsepower. Right. So these chariots what we have nowadays, when you bought one and the Lord helped you, you know what hurt me sometimes? You come to the church and when you come to the church, God bless you. And you find yourself building a nice roof over your head. God bless you. 
and you find yourself by yourself a nice chariot and little more you turn away from the church and say them up there me not like them them are hypocrite up there i see them hypocrite you was amongst when god bless you then how you turn away now it tickled me I, I can't figure it out so when god bless us with the chariot we now go see we sister pastor come to church and we pass him we now go see we brother going to work and we pass him that make us a good steward and if we do what god require of us we will hear from god lips well done good and and that is what we long for every human being from i was a child coming up me hear them say me a bad man i mean never hear no one say them a good man I mean, I wonder why no one want to say they are a good person. They always said, I am a bad man. And the next thing, when someone bought a piece of property, they will put up, beware out of the gate, beware of bad dog. Otherwise, you see, no trust person on this property. That's not a good steward. <laughs> I tell you. A good steward leave him door open to anyone and everyone. Why? For God so loved the world that he gave you and I, Jesus. And we're going to take his footstep. And we're on our way to glory. So, when I was small, you know, i from the parish of Chilani. When I was small, when my mom cooked the dinner, you know, he will call next door neighbor and say, May I send the boy up there? Yes, and bring some. And if he cut a bunch of banana, a few hand of the banana was going to the neighbor. And if he cut the breadfruit into half of the breadfruit will go into the neighbor. But nowadays, I see a change. This morning we say, God cannot change. God don't change. And the word of God don't change. But everything else changes. Why? Because of corrupted heart of man. So now the neighbor has suffer, the neighbor dying for hungry, and the fridge that cannot eat, belly full. I mean, I understand it, sir. Everything pack up in the fridge, but the neighbor over there, so all the children them over there crying. And no one hear their cry. That's not a good story. That's not a good story. Yes. And, 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 and all that we are doing is only for a matter of time. And we was talking about time and time and time and a half, right? So, and, and all that we are doing is just a matter of time. So don't think you have enough time to be a good steward. Be a good steward today. No. No. Because Jesus can roll back the eastern sky as a school and step down. And then you won't hear good and faithful servant. So we are. As we said, I mean, in the book of Isaiah, God said, my ears is not too heavy to hear from you, and my hand is not too short. But, but, not just iniquity, my brother, but God is dependent upon us to be a good steward. God said, go and give your neighbor. God said, bring this to the church. Do it. So no wonder when Brother Paul said, if you hear God's voice today, harden not your heart. I know one time, you never repent. You hear God's voice calling you to repentance. You know? When you repent, the voice of God still speaks to your heart to do good. So a lot of persons don't know what is the will of God. But it's James one twenty-seven. Don't clear it up. I don't know what else can clear it up for us. Pure religion, undefiled. Visit. So to visit them, there is a whole package. It's not just visit them and pray. Visit them and bring a token. So look at Solomon. Solomon, as wise as Solomon was, because the word of God said, 
No one was wise like him in his time, neither before him, neither after him. And as wise as Solomon was, as powerful as he was, on his dying bed, Solomon said, let us come to the conclusion of the whole matter because the whole duty of man is to fear God and keep his commandment. So, we don't have time or much time on this planet earth. I tell you that pastor says something up here and I don't see one next word. Um, stay with me so much. I renovate in my mind. Pastor said one of my feet is on the earth. And one of my feet is in the grave. And that is so true. Just as God said, the heaven is my throne room and the earth is my footstool. So we don't have much time. And the reason why we don't have much time is because of the result of sin. So let us do the master will while we can. Let us do the master's will while we are alive and our blood is pumping in our body. Let us do our Father's will while we be on top of the earth. I think Brother Betty said today we're going to visit Brother Hilton in Montego Bay. That's one of our sick brethren. Visit him and pray for him. But much more, bring a little token. For him. God is God. And God is depending on us. To be a good and faithful steward. And God is looking down from heaven. With his eyes to and forth the earth. Looking on us what we are doing. With what he entrusts us to be. And if we play around. With what God has placed in our hands. We make it mockery. Of ourselves. For God is a just, a true, and faithful God. So when he pronounced good and faithful, it well said. When he pronounced wicked servant, it is well said. Be of good courage. Take up the mantle in your hand and run with it. I continue to pray for my brethren. Continue. To lift me up in your prayer. Be of good courage. Until next time. When we meet again.